It's that time of year in Arizona. We know it's starting to get hotter this morning in our heat beat. A local doctor is sharing why these tips are so important to keep us all safe. The helicopter is out already rescuing a man this week from Camelback Mountain after suffering from heat exhaustion. You really believe these are preventable. Whether you live here or you're a visitor is that so many of these accidents and injuries are absolutely preventable. Dr. Eric Madison, the medical director for Chandler Regional Medical Center, says drinking water is key and not just during outdoor activities. Prehydrate is one of the biggest things you can do. He recommends drinking at least eight ounces of water every 15 minutes. That equals about a half a gallon every hour. And that's just to keep up with our normal losses. Dr. Madison says lean in to your alarm. If I at all possible, adjust your activities to the early morning hours. Do your outdoor activities around 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. I think, oh, I've heard that message before. I know to drink water. I know to try to stay up with it, to wear like colored clothing. But we can kind of forget there can be changes in our lives that can impact what maybe is normal for you. If you can share maybe how sure. medications or different Absolutely. things can impact people. Absolutely. So even when we live here, when all of a sudden we have a 110, 100 degree day, it's going to take your body a week or two to get acclimated to that. It may not be the most polite breakfast topic while having your morning cereal or eggs, but he reminds us paying attention in the bathroom can also help us to monitor if we're hydrated. A simple thing easy enough to teach kids is to look at their urine. Mm -hmm. If it's really dark and concentrated, it means that they're dehydrated and their body's trying to hold on to all the water that it can. And that goes for us adults, too. And the doctor also recommends pay attention to what you're putting inside of your body. You have to watch out for how certain supplements, caffeine, alcohol, medications, they can all impact you differently. And of course, we know summer is on the way as we continue to cover the heat beat. There are heat relief centers and hydration sta stations all across our community that you can check out near you. And I want to show you right now where you can find that. You can find a cooling center if you head to Maricopa County's heat relief website. You can see that map here behind me. The first thing to get acclimated with is this key right here in the top corner. You can turn it off to choose only a cooling center or only a hydration station, whichever you prefer. And you can see throughout Phoenix, you have so many different locations of where you can go. You'll find these triangles that have the location you can click on and I'll scroll it down a little bit so you can see it. It'll give you the details, how long they're open and that way you can get the help you need as we are all raising those temperatures this time of year, Allison. Yeah, Emily, that's a great resource to have and look around and see where there's a hydration station or a cooling center in your neighborhood. In the meantime, Tempe Mayor Corey Woods visiting the Salvation Army to talk more about the organization's heat relief program. Today, the Salvation Army Tempe Corps Community Center is also inviting the public. You, you can stop by and cool off with complimentary water, samples of drip drop, that's an electrolyte powder. The Salvation Army offers indoor cooling hydration and other heat relief items to the community during regular operating hours. And then it does open those emergency heat relief stations when we have excessive heat warnings. So in order to check those out, again, you can head to the Salvation Army's website.